my name is Mike Madden, and I'm uh, currently the president of FOSM. I've been president for about a year and a half, and thoroughly enjoy um, the position. And uh, FOSM does not need a lot of leadership. It's basically uh, composed of uh, a bunch of crews, that, uh, and each crew has a, uh, has a weekly mission. And, uh, and it, the mission can range from painting to um, taking trees down and everything in between. I do so much hiking and some mountain biking that I feel uh, after I've used the trails for so many years, it's time to give back. And my name is Jenny Blackmore and I think I've been with Fossum for five years, working mostly on trails, um, trail maintenance and building. And I currently lead the trail building uh, crew on Thursdays. And uh, like Mike said, it's we, <laughs> it doesn't need a lot of leadership. People know what they're doing, and um, it pretty much runs itself. And it's, 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 it's a great group of folks. Um, I grew up in the Twin Cities. I moved to Boulder for a decade or so. And um, I've been in Albuquerque seven years. And I love it. There's no one on the trails. Well, that's not true. And we wouldn't <laughs> want no one on the trails. But Quieter. Um, it's it is it's a it's a whole different world compared to to Boulder and to the Front Range. Uh, we were my wife and I were uh, retiring and moving from L.A. Okay. Area. And um, and so we picked New Mexico uh, as a place to retire, mm -hmm. and um, we just love the desert south southwest, and um, and Albuquerque checked all the boxes for us. What was your first reaction, Mike? To just hearing, like, someone wants to run 100 miles in the sand, is. Oh, this guy's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm getting that a lot. Huh, let's go here. And, uh, uh, well, uh, I uh, respect your ambition, and I also um, uh, admire your cause. Thanks. Yeah, we really appreciate the cause, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, I think my first reaction was, was oh, wh wh where is he going to go? I was trying to figure out a route that would take 100 miles. When you take ownership of the mountain, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's just the whole mountain is your partner. Uh, and we did six miles on just a nice little cluster of trails that we worked on for four years. With every stride, I, it was like uh, bringing back memories, just mm -hmm. flashback after flashback. And that's what's so fun about trail work is if, if you're slow down, you're spending one, you're spending time in one spot on the trail for, mm -hmm. you know, it can be up to an hour sometimes you're in this 10 foot or longer, <laughs> it can be in this 10 foot section. And um, so you get to know it pretty intimately and it does, it does get, work its way into your memory that way. Do you have a favorite like tier of the mountain, like down here in the scrub or up higher in the oh, Alpine? That's a great question. I don't have a favorite, but I do like the transition. And I notice that especially on this side because you go up pretty steep, well, I guess on the other side too, but there's a lot of trails that go from point A to point B and you're, you, you, you see all those transitions. Um, but uh, I, I, don't know. I really like the, the PJ, the Pinion Juniper. I like to be able to see I really like spending time up on the crest trail, on the south crest trail. Okay. Um, there's something special about it. It's, 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 it feels so alpine, and you have all those little, um, little tiny barrel cactus. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they have a special name, but um, you always see horned lizards running around up there, and the views are just incredible. And it's, it's, you don't see a lot of people. That's true. But, uh, it's, it's, very, it's special up there. The, uh, the Osha Springs uh, is, once again, another, uh, it, it's so out of the way mm -hmm. uh, to get to that it's not, uh, it's, it's not popular. Right. And, and it's, um, uh, you, you'll probably be the only person out there. <laughs>